This is a an old painting I did some time ago. Um, I think it's Sutton Park. I'm, I'm not too sure to be honest, but I thought I'd have a go at this one today. So let's have a look at the materials first. Now I managed to find some blue. So I've got ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, lizarine crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, and light red. Got my usual brushes. Got the large run run snake and a little brush there for the details. Got the uh, Cutman watercolours. Um, that's a good to wear the shop and buy one of these. Um, two pounds sixty for an eight mil tube. I normally get two ninety nine for twenty one mil. So it shows you the difference between buying them from the shops and uh, art discounts. Uh, .co.uk, get them from online. Um, water jar with a nice slip on for taking the excess water off. And I got my 15 by 11 Fabriano, 130 pound cold pressed paper. So, just a quick look at the uh, painting again that you're going to use for reference. It's only going to be a, yeah, I'm not going to do an exact copy. I never do, I never do exact copies of anything. So, it's just going to be a, another sort of impression of this one. Try and do it in a different way, different mood. So, starting off with just clear water. All the way down to the bottom of the page. And then I'm just going to dip the tips back in just to bring all the ears back together. So I'm going to start off with the sky. Um, a bit of raw sienna. That in down to the bottom. Clean the brush. Bit of uh, ultramarine, just a touch of lizard crimson. And bash some of that in across the top. Somewhere over there. A few little clouds. Right on the horizon, something like that, and then right in the distance, we can just about see some trees far, far away. So I'm just going to again, all the same colours, raw sienna, ultramarine, it's somewhere, somewhere up there. That's a little bit stronger than I wanted, so I just dip it into the water. Maybe a little bit stronger still. Again, just keep watering it down until you find the uh, the strength you're looking for. See now, that's very, very faint. Something like so. So that's the very, very far hills, trees. Now, coming a little bit closer, going to be a stronger mix, a bit less water, a bit more paint, stronger mix, a bit of lemon yellow introduced, so we're going towards green there. And because the paper's still wet, there's no hard edges on this side. Just give it a bit of light red into the mix. Bit of light red. Clean the brush. Take the excess off on the tea towel. And then putting the trees in now on this side. I'm just going to go more ultramarine, lemon yellow. And just using the corner of the brush. Bit of light red. Just to change it a little bit into the lemon yellow. More lemon yellow, ultramarine, Payne's grey. It's a really sort of dark, dark green up there. Now over on the other side, 
sticking, I'm not going to bother cleaning the brush, I'm just going to go straight into the lemon yellow and again still just using the corner of the brush and then just trying to bury it, it's ultramarine, a bit of light red. More lemon yellow. And you can see where the clouds there, see how it's sort of light in the sky, just so you can see the profile of these trees, stands out better. A bit more blue, a bit more Payne's grey, really dark. And then, while well, this is starting to dry now, it'll also go on strong. You can see how strong that's going on now. Look. Just again, just using the corner of the brush. Yeah, sort of, sort of dark shadows right in the base of the trees. Right. Paper stretched a little bit. I'm just going to pull it tight, get it flat against the board, and then I'll just I'm use my finger now just to scrape in some tree trunks. So, try not to go over the top with this sort of thing. Just sort of here and there, just try and keep it subtle. If you do too many, it sort of ruins the effect. A few more on this side. A big one up there. That's what I'm going to do for that. Um, if you like, you can always use a smaller brush. A bit of burnt umber. More water, a bit of burnt umber, ultramarine. You can also pop a few, a few more trunks in. Um, yes, there's some of you up there, aren't there? So next I'm going to clean the brush. And I'm going to go with a bit of a sort of light, light greeny colour. I'm just going to go a bit of raw sienna and just a little bit of lemon yellow. And then in this distant. Distant man, and then you know, I'm just going to try and bear it as I come down. And let's just try to put a bit of we'll see it in like that. Scatter that about a bit, and then go into a bit of ultramarine. Maybe a bit of Payne's Grey. Payne's Grey. Um, burnt Umber. Back into. Let's clean the brush. Get back to a light, sort of light. Lemon yellow. So I'm just going to. So I'm just trying to get variation to keep the land interesting. Lemon yellow, just filling in these, these white gaps. And what I need to do next is sort of work out where that path, where that path's going. So for the path, I'm going to clean the brush again. I'm just going to go a bit of light red, ultramarine. A path that's sort of Sweeps around like that, something like that. And what I'm going to do is just push this grass up to the path. And 
clean the brush, go back to a lighter colour. Constant trying to vary it and ultramarine. And then just to fill in those white bits, I'm just going to clean the brush, go into lemon yellow, and just fill in those white bits, scattered about. Go get some lemon yellow, you can even go into the, into the darker areas, mix that up a bit. Right, that's uh, next we've got our big tree. In fact, I'm going to do that. and dabs there. Beautiful. Get some pieces lying around. Right, so this tree next. So the first thing I want to do I just want to make sure this is flat. I'm just going to refix this again onto this 9mm piece of plywood. Quick dry. As long as it's dry, dry earth than it was. And then I'm going to go, I'm about to clean the brush, so I'm going to go dark colour now. So it doesn't matter what colour's on the brush, it's going to end up dark. Burnt umber, ultramarine, and then the base of the tree is somewhere about there. And then just Put the trunk in, something like so, and then using a smaller brush just to flick out some of the branches off the side of it. A few more out there. Once I've done this, I'll uh, I'll put the green leaves on. So just a sort of basic skeleton there. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to clean the brush. And then just dry it on the tea top, you just scuff all the airs up so they're going in all, all, all directions. Something. And I'm just going to go into the green colours, sort of ultramarine, um, ultramarine, lemon yellow, pines grey, or sienna. And I'm just going to. Sort of I think the brush is really dry, in fact that's almost too dry.
very dry brush doing this so in that way you, you don't block it all in you can see through it grass there and there. Again, it's very dry brush, that's why I can tap this around like that, it's not a lot of paint's coming off. Now we need a little figure walking off into the, uh, into the distance, so let's just put a little figure in walking his dog. So I'm just going to go, I'm just going to go light red, just to put the upper, upper body in. Yeah, I'm just going to go into the blue, just to put the legs in. And then, and then just, just to the side there's a little dog. Need to put some shadows. Well, there's not a real massive sort of impression of light, really. So the only way I can get that is if imagine the lights coming say from over there. Well, in the painting, the lights coming from sort of left foot to right. So it's sort of do the bow first, sort of move across there like that. the bigger brush and put in the uh, put in this tree shadow. I've just mixed a bit of light red and, and uh, ultramarine. Just a, a hint of burnt umber in there as well. Just trying to replicate the colour I got for that really. I should have done this first. Um, and then we've just got a shadow there running across across the path. Something like that. And I think I think we're almost done. The only thing to do now is to put our little bird in the sky. Um, let's just put him, just make sure my hand's clean. I'm just gonna put him over the top of these trees up there. thing to do. You pop your name in the corner and I'll call that all finished. So let's have a look at it with the uh, with the main sun. So here's our uh, painting in the main. So if we go in and have a closer look at it, starting with the sky, just a simple sort of raw sienna, ultramarine, a bit of a lizard in crimson in there as well. Brought the way all the way down, and then just put a bit of um, cloud in with the tissue, just to help, so you could see the profile of these distant trees. Same again on the other side, all the way across, and then just try to vary the colour of these trees on both sides. Bit of a fingernail in there, just to suggest uh, the light like, sort of catching the tree trunks. Try to not go completely over the top. Few more on the other side, there and there, and then just a little bit more with a small brush just to do a few more trunks. I've tried to vary the land as much as I could. You've got various mixed sort of greens there: lemon yellow, ultramarine, raw sienna. Same on the other side. A bit of burnt umber in there as well. Now this tree, just a dark mix with the hake, and then just put the trunk in first and then use the smaller brush just to put in the smaller twigs and branches 
and just use a dry hay brush just to put in the uh, the green leaves. Very dry brush, and you can see the advantage of that is you only get a bit of paint going on, so you can see straight through. You don't, you're not, if you if it's too wet, you're just going to block it straight in. You're not going to be able to see anything behind. Then we've got our little little man here with walking his dog, little shadow coming off. And not forgetting the other shadow, this tree here. Running across the path, just try and bring the thing to life a bit. Well, I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing. Any questions, please ask. And I'll see you again soon.